Good morning, fish heads. Jen Cravassi, Jekyll Bates. Monday morning. We have another work week. Yesterday in Arkansas was about 77 degrees. It was predicted to be just around 70. Got really warm yesterday. Had a fantastic first fishing outing. Um, Going to be popping that up sometime today. Uh, also, this should be airing today or tomorrow, probably today. But uh, I got a couple things going on over here little mini swim baits and they're not expensive the blanks are available overseas um, as far as I know they're not direct knockoffs to anyone I'm not sure to be honest with you uh, but they swim okay they actually do with a small swim bait you can get away with a split ring on the nose although you can take it off and it'll swim just fine as well I took this one out yesterday um, threw it in the water for about 30 seconds, 40 seconds, did a couple of casts with it. I just wanted to kind of get a feel of what it was going to do in the water. It swims pretty decent. I uh, did not intend on beating it up, so I just wanted to make sure that it was good. I like the patterns on these things. I've been doing a little bit more technical detailing uh, on, on these little swim baits, and I'm really happy with how they came out. So this is the shell cracker can see that that line of red on its ear flap and there's some pretty decent shading all the shading is in black magenta and then a lot of detailing on the fins and that's all just a really small artist detail brush uh, double zero I believe and that is the this is more like an art deco this is more like a actual real deal um, water sketch, water painting. That's all pencil and watercolor. This is ink and watercolor. So the shell cracker and then this little nugget of goodness. And this of course being the pumpkin seed. So that's what they look like. Super happy with how they came out. And I, some of you guys have been asking me to do sets. Um, if I do sets, it's going to be a print that's framed. And one of these guys. It's probably going to be a super limited series. I would prefer to just do one original with a framed print um, for a set price. Probably around 50 And that's still affordable art because if you guys are in... And, and again, on this, you'd be paying for moreover because it's not a brand name bait you'd be paying for the detail and the work that I put into the pattern um, it will swim well for you it's it's uh, it's a pretty decent little swimmer and then of course the artwork so most artwork and watercolors and originals go upwards of a hundred dollars even for a five by seven like these are so the work is good but I would do probably for the set a price point around 50 bucks somewhere in there if you guys are interested in that uh, if that's the kind of thing that you would like to see me do, or if you want to see me actually do a speed painting, um, which is just a time-lapse series of me doing stuff like this, let me know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to include that in my lineup for 2020. Let's move on to these little guys. I want to talk just for a second about the Berkeley War Pig and how you can really trick them out. These are going out to Frank Carlisle. They should have gone out last week, but I wanted to give them an extra coat. Um, I really am digging how thin and, and good that this turns out. This is that new KBS. It's not out yet. I get lots of questions on when they're going to release the new stuff. They're still in the testing phases. I haven't been given a date. I have no earthly idea. I can't imagine it's going to be too long. I would hope that it's coming in 2020. Um, but if I find anything out, I will certainly let you guys know. But just... Um, I wanted to talk about these particular baits, not just because it's a client order, but because they start out like this. Um, a lot of you guys, if you're looking or you don't want to actually do all the foiling work yourself, get something that's chromed. Start out with something like this, and then you can trick it out by meshing it, wrapping it in a mesh like I've done on these, and you can still see all the insignia is there and you still get that pop and flash on the bottom you can still see that you're going to get lots of reaction and light refraction in the water 
and then it's actually really cool over the eyes now these eyes were that glow red and you can still kind of see that if you move this around which is really cool and all I did was throw a little black over that uh, but he asked for the crackle or the cracked robin's egg with dark blue spots instead of black spots uh, robin eggs are traditionally like the real egg we're not talking there's not really a pattern out there that's a robin egg that i know of if there is then please correct me you're welcome to do that in the comments um, but for a robin's egg if we're looking at something that's in nature it's a really light blue pattern and it's got black specks on it but he wanted blue so i was able to get that done on these berkeley war pigs and they're going out this morning and i have hooked my glove hang on just a second we have another sewer rat going out and this has got that little zoom trick worm on it this has got a tiny bit of salt in it but it's mostly a floating worm and it's a headstander it's got the air bubble in the tail which is really cool and then john's eyes over at jetson on these and this is part of a series the rest of it's hanging over on the clear coat rack for mark allwine those are going out this week as well and then I wanted to talk about this. Um, yep, I'm in the swim bait game. I've been doing it for a little while. I don't advertise it um, as much, or at least I have not been, because I really wanted to feel mature as an artist before I started getting into that market. Uh, I, I, I'm not discouraging any of you guys that are new that want to paint swim baits, but in order to be a competitive artist, on that market I felt like I needed to be a competitive and confident pattern maker first so that's always you always want to go small to big um, if you start throwing work on there that's eh, then yeah you might get some clients and and it might it might be your bread and butter but this kind of stuff has always been the bread and butter to me just getting really confident with patterns that's just how I do it um, you are, I'm certainly not discouraging anybody from getting into the swim bait game, but I am really, really happy with how this pattern came out. Um, they remind me of the trout that I see in the fall. And yes, that's, I used specifically on this really, now I didn't reduce it, but I used all transparent paints, um, except for the black. And even I think the black is a transparent black, but I really wanted to show um, the background and the way these things flash in the water it does represent how the pearlescent is on the scales of a fish now, trout have really tiny scales and I've gotten questions on what this is um, Steve Muller or Mueller I, I saw how he spells his last name but he um, he was looking at the bait as well and he left a reference on the Facebook page on where you can get it and I'm going to show you the bag in just a second because I'll show you everything it comes from. I did not get this from overseas. I got this from Gerald Novick. So Gerald, thank you. Uh, we traded, we swapped some blanks out, um, some higher end blanks and this is one of them. Um, this is not a Gancraft, but they swim really, really well. And this is that KBS on there and I've got... Um, fish skulls living eyes this is the earth color and they take a seven it comes with eyes I mean it comes with the hooks which are high quality um, sturdy heavy-duty split rings obviously on the bigger swim baits you don't put a split ring in the nose um, and it comes with three tails which is cool because you, your tails are going to get chewed on but I am extremely happy I hand cut uh, stencil for this and I meant to bring it over it's it's sitting over on the uh, on the desk over here uh, but it's just I just did my own hand cut stencil for this for the dorsal fin or I'm sorry for the pectoral fin and it turned out super super good and I put two clear coats on this and and it's all brush on I brushed all of the clear coat on because I wanted to make sure that the tail was going to fit. So there you have it. That is the trout. Um, show you the bag that it came in. And yes, you can get there. There is a reference on my Facebook page, on my personal Facebook page. Sorry, that just blinded you guys. But this is it. It's, um, it's Top Tackle Industries. And there is a guy that works for them. And I think that that is all the news. Oh, and uh, here's what it looks like as a blank. Comes with the hooks and the hook caps and 
three different tails. So it is, of, of the blanks that are coming from overseas, this is some of the higher end stuff. They are confident, good swimmers. I like them very much. And um, if you're just getting into the swim bait deal, then it might be something that you would consider testing out your skills on as a painter. So I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic week. And I will see you on the next video. There are three, count them, one, two, three. Two of them are going to be small waters, but three spray sessions that I am going to fill your guys' channel up with this week within the next seven days. So I hope you have a good one, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.